Hi, yeah, I'm uh, going to step through assignment three in our XML class and hopefully it gets a little bit more clear. So what you see right here is a DDT and when <clears throat> a DDT defines the vocabulary that um, you can use in your XML document. So I've got this DDT, I've asked you to download it and uh, you're going to create a new XML file. But when I'm trying, when I'm reading it, I'm seeing that when I'm reading the DDT, it's telling me the very first element, the root element here is RSS, and that an RSS is comprised of one and exactly one channel. Then within a channel, okay, so then you look further down and you see the definition of a channel, and a channel can have a repeated amount of these elements that are or. It could have a title or a description or a link or a language or one or more items or maybe a rating, maybe an image, maybe text input, etc. And this star here means you can repeat this list again and again as much as you'd like. Okay, you also then have then further on it goes, okay, so tell me what can title be? Well, title can be text. That's what that means. What can description be? Description can be text, etc. So um, that is how you read that. And I know it's very cryptic. I know you're new to this. So what I want you to do is after you've downloaded this, I want you to create, I'm over here in XML Spy, and you're going to create a brand new XML file. And uh, yes, I want DDT, and the DDT is going to be that RS091 DDT. So here it's created that. Now in my the reading there for the assignment, I said if if you do that and uh, XML Spy adds this, take this out. Okay. So what you're going to see over here to the right panel are what elements you're allowed to put inside the RSS, the root elements. So inside of the RSS root element, the only other element you're allowed to put in is a channel, and that's exactly what this was saying. The only thing you're allowed to put inside their RSS is a channel. Now note, I'm going to come down, I'm inside the channel, and note, look at all these elements, and these are exactly the same elements that you see right here being ORed. These are the elements you're allowed to have inside a channel. So as I go down, excuse me, <laughs> went to the wrong, went to the wrong, okay, so as I go down, uh, before moving to step four, make sure your image is like this. The title of the news feed is BHC uh, News, and the description is Current Events at Blackhawk College. So what you're going to do is I'm going to give it a title, BHC News, okay? Then I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to come down and give it a description, and the description was, um, I can't remember, College News whatever it was. And then I'm going to come down and hit enter. And let's come back and look at our assignment. Okay. And then there, it asked for a hyperlink. Okay. So I'm going to copy and paste and see, well, yeah, there's a link element right there. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And uh, then what we have are we have three items in our news feed. Now, if you recall, when we looked at the DDT, that you can have one or more items, okay? So we've got three items to put in our news feed. So, and if I come down to look at an item, each item has its own title, its own link, and its own description, and that can be many, many times, okay? So we're going to then go to an item, okay? And as, as you recall, an item can have a title, and a link. So here I am in the, uh, the title for the item, not for the news feed. And here I've given you the title, Non-Traditional Women, Non-Traditional Occupations for Women. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the link for that. And I've given that link to you right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go and do the description, which is all right here. Okay, and so now I have my very first item. Well, okay, let me get rid of some of the spaces here. Then, then what you're going to do is this is.